Greetings. This video will assess the outcome of a potential conflict between a single Chinese Type 52D class destroyer and the entire Taiwanese surface navy. Taiwan's armed forces are geared almost exclusively towards fighting a potential war with the Chinese mainland, and the two parties have remained technically at war for over 70 years. The outcome of a clash between modern warships will primarily be decided by comparing the anti-ship and air defense capabilities of the platforms involved. Taiwan's most capable surface combatant is the Kid-class cruiser which are a lot heavier than the Chinese Type 52D class destroyers, but deploy a lot less firepower. It also deploys 10 Oliver Hazard Perry class frigates, 6 North class frigates, and 6 very light Lafayette class frigates. The overall tonnage of the surface fleet is 127,000 tons, almost 20 times as much as the Chinese ship. Taiwanese ships deploy two primary classes of anti-ship missile, the American Harpoon Block II or Harpoon C, and the indigenous Xiong Feng II. The Harpoon is a 1970s American design and has a range of little under 200 kilometers. It is very slow and unmaneuverable, however, and lacks a complex sea skimming trajectory, making it very easy to intercept. The Xiong Feng is a much newer and more capable missile and is three times as fast. Its range is shorter, however, at 140 kilometers. China's Type 52D class deploys two primary classes of anti-ship missile. The YJ-100 provides a 1,000 km range and carries a heavy 500 kg warhead. The YJ-18 has a shorter 540 km range, still over double that of the Harpoon. The missile follows a complex sea skimming trajectory and strikes at Mach 3 speeds, making it almost impossible to intercept. Looking at Taiwanese air defense capabilities, its ships are equipped with American SM-1MR, SM-2 Block 2A and MIM-72 missiles. These systems are all considered obsolete and have long since been retired from US service. The SM-1 and SM-2 designs date back to the 1960s and have limited electronic warfare countermeasures. KID-class cruisers are by far the best defended Taiwanese ships with 68 SM-2 missiles each. Perry and Knox-class ships rely on a smaller number of older SM-1 missiles, while the Lafayette-class has a negligible air defense capability and relies on the MIM-72. Type 52D destroyers have more layers in their air defense networks than any serving Western or Russian ships, with four separate complementary classes of surface-to-air missile. The network includes the long-range HQ-9B, the medium-range HQ-16 and DK-10, and the short-range HQ-10, as well as close-in weapons systems. This network is designed to engage very advanced state-of-the-art targets and can very reliably intercept attacks by harpoon missiles. Looking at how a ship-to-ship -ship engagement would play out, Taiwan's KID-class ships will be relied on to protect its other warships from air attacks, as the only one with an air defense capability which is not completely obsolete. Alongside 24 HQ-10 missiles, the Type 52D will devote 30 launch cells to air defense missiles and 34 to anti-ship cruise missiles. The relatively confined space around the Taiwan Strait and the prevalence of surveillance assets on both sides means each side will likely be fully aware of the other's locations. The Type 52D will be able to engage targets from a thousand kilometers away with the YJ-100. Given that it deploys just 10 of these missiles, however, and faced with over 250 SM-2 missiles from the KID-class ships, damage will be limited if used. Taiwanese ships' longest-range missiles, the Harpoons, will be far out of range. These missiles are deployed by three of the KID-class cruisers, two Perry-class frigates, and all Knox-class frigates. The Type 52D will likely risk moving closer to first engaged targets with its YJ-18 missiles. While the missile has a 540km range, the very slow speed and limited performance of Taiwanese Harpoon missiles allows the Chinese destroyer to risk getting a lot closer, though still beyond the Harpoon's range. Once it gets around 250 kilometers away from the Taiwanese fleet, within less than half range of the YJ-18, the Type 52D can begin to fire on its targets, prioritizing KID-class destroyers for attack. The sea skimming trajectories, high maneuverability, and extremely fast speeds of the YJ-18 will make it extremely difficult to intercept, particularly when fired from such short ranges, which will allow the missiles to perform multiple waypoint maneuvers. The YJ-18 was developed over 50 years after the SM-2, and is far more advanced than anything it was designed to intercept. A single hit from a Mach 3 missile even without a warhead is enough to neutralize a destroyer-sized ship such as the KID-class, 
Hits from three YJ-18 missiles at Mach 3 will likely not only neutralize, but fully sink all four ships. With the protection of the large Rim-2 arsenal lost, Taiwanese ships will be left with a negligible air defense capability. Firing one missile at each of the remaining much lighter Taiwanese ships will likely be sufficient to neutralize them as well. The Type 52D can still remain comfortably beyond retaliation range when neutralizing the remainder of the fleet. Including both the YJ-18 and YJ-100, it has enough missiles to neutralize the remainder of the Taiwanese surface fleet. While it is highly unlikely that Taiwanese ships will get within range to use their own missiles given the massive discrepancy in range, even if some harpoons are fired, they are highly unlikely to have an effect. The Type 52D's HQ-9 is over 10 times as fast as the harpoon and can quite easily intercept them at range. In case any do pass, the HQ-16 is several times faster and can mop up any remaining missiles quite reliably. The DK-10 and HQ-10 form two further lines of missile defense. Even if deployed in large numbers, the harpoon poses a negligible threat to the Type 52D. What is immediately evident is that the Taiwanese ships are technologically decades behind the Type 52D class, which is closely reflected in their capabilities from their ability to take damage to their firepower and sensors. The result will be an overwhelming victory for the Chinese destroyer over Taiwan's surface fleet, likely without taking any damage.